Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Kryptonite, interviews another content creator in regards to their journey. During these conversations, we focus on the mental side, triumphs, everything, and any, anything in between. Tonight, my guest is someone I've known for the longest time. He probably doesn't know how much he's helped me thus far in this content creation journey. I met him early in and I've been rocking with him ever since. We go ahead and read his bio and get this man on this microphone so we can chit chat. He is a part-time variety content creator who is just trying to figure this out. He plays a lot of shooter focused games, but also enjoys RPGs, horror, sports, and puzzle games. He also enjoys speaking on current events and making weird men uncomfortable. Without further ado, let me introduce my homie, my stream brother, Jedi Oso, aka Jedi, aka Jetty. What's good? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. What up? What up? What up? What up, man? How you doing? <laughs> man, I said welcome to the stream. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> man, how are you doing, homie? What's what's good? Man, I'm doing all right. I cannot complain. Well, I could complain, but I'm not going to. But I'm doing all right. All right, I was about to say, we can, we can always complain. Listen, I can always find something <laughs> to complain about. I hear you. So, you know, since we here, I already know what the beginning of your journey looked like. Mm -hmm. How'd you start and what are you doing right now? Um, How I started, honestly, because around when I started content creation, it was like a, it was a tough time. Like I had a family member pass away and it was kind of a way for me to be more social without necessarily being physically social. So, and it was something... I honestly always wanted to get into from back in like 2016 because I used to watch like a lot of people play 2K. I still play 2 2K to this day. Yes, I'm one of those. But like one of the one of the folks I'm still cool with to this day. Like he's still he's like a bigger content creator uh, in 2K, and that kind of pushed me in that direction. But you know, after the uh, after having a family member pass and everything, I kind of just dove into it as something to do. But now, like I I'm, I'm I'm in it. And granted, I'm not as, I don't put out as much as I would like, mainly because, you know, life stuff. Like, I have a full-time job, yeah. take care of family. Right. So, but I do it when I can. And I think right now it's just been, you know, trying to find that balance between burnout and success, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, it's it's been a good time. I thoroughly enjoy it. Just trying different avenues and keeping my mind open to trying new things. Hell yeah. I know the last time we talked and how I've been seeing you move, you've been pushing a lot of YouTube streams. Um, How's that been going for you? Honestly, the YouTube streams have been pretty good and more, they've been more productive than I thought. Right now I'm doing, and I need to finish Final Fantasy 16 over there, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty much going to be doing that as one of my main focuses as far as for pushing out content. Because my biggest thing or like the biggest revelation I've had throughout my journey of content creation is I don't like basically streaming with Twitch. It's like, okay, you go live, you know, you stream yeah, and you know, you see the numbers instantly and everything. But then it's like, once you stop streaming, it's like nothing. Right. But one thing I've noticed with streaming on YouTube is that it's cool to see, or at least how it works for me in my brain. I enjoy seeing the numbers live, but then also seeing how the numbers change after the fact. So right. one thing I've noticed in Final Fantasy streams is like, you know, I'll have people pop in, you know, a few people pop in here and there. But once the uh, stream is over, it's doing numbers after the fact. I'm like, oh, like, OK, I see that. I like that. So I think I'm going to start doing more like playthroughs over there until I get the avenue to do other stuff that I'm interested in down the line. Gotcha. No, that's dope. And like you said, when you put stuff up on YouTube. I was shocked too. I did a Apex stream, which Apex is one of those things you watch during the time it's up and like nobody's catching a VOD of an Apex player. Right. But on YouTube, them things kind of move. And I was like, what? Yep. It was definitely eye opening for me because I was like, I, and granted, you still want to, you know, you want to push out other forms of content, not just necessarily streams, short form. Oh, yeah. You know, edit it and stuff. Mm -hmm. But for me and my schedule right now, the streams are just a little bit more convenient. Um, and a little less daunting. Right. So if I can just make the most out of the streams that I do put out, then I'm going to do that. And YouTube has been where it's at for that. Hell yeah. Well, while we're here, we kind of segued into it naturally, but current mindset, what is your current mindset in regards to both content creation as a whole and what you're doing with your content right now? The biggest thing for me right now at the current stage is to find the sweet spot between, and like I said before, it's find the sweet spot between balance and burnout. Mm -hmm. I enjoy putting out content. I feel like I put out good content. Yes, you do. <laughs> Thank you. And I have so many avenues that I'm interested in, 
but your boy be tired. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. like getting off of work, man. Like, I, your boy be tired. And it just be some times where I really just want to chill. Like, I'm also trying to make space for offline things. So I'm like, if I'm gaming, like, everything doesn't have to be recorded. Everything doesn't have to be, thing doesn't have to be a clip. So, like, I've been making space for gaming offline and gaming with my friends offline so right now it's just like i said finding that finding that sweet spot between you know balancing burnout and then going from there no i like that and that sweet spot i don't know why i keep saying it when i was working my full-time job Mm -hmm. finding that spot is what keeps you sane right no you can't be pulling eight hour streams every day or uploading two or three videos. But once you find that sweet spot that works for you, that at least keeps you sane and you like balance between work, life, and then the content creation. Right, exactly. I won't be good to anybody if I can't, if I'm just too tired, like I won't be good for myself or anybody else. So you gotta find it. Exactly. Yeah, I remember being, uh, my job used to make me super, super tired and grouchy. So I'd come home after work. It was a guarantee, like 30 minutes. Don't talk to daddy. He, he got to decongest and I hated that shit. Listen, we both kind of worked in the same fields and it's just like, after I get off work, I am mentally checked out. Like I, I don't want to think, I don't want to solve anybody's problems for a good period of time because I've been doing (laughs) this for like nine hours already. And it's like, I enjoy it, but it's like, I'm tired. Exactly. He's like, I'm done. Like, I, I spent all that time at work. I just need give me like an hour. Yeah. I'll be good, maybe. I just want to not think. <laughs> exactly. Dope. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the lessons learned section of the podcast. Uh, this is where I ask my guests, what lesson have you learned that you could have only learned because you create content? I think one of the main lessons that I learned is one, um, you can be multifaceted and multi-talented in content and it work. Don't be scared to try new things. If you have an idea for something, if you can flesh it out, you know, with a plan, then go ahead and do it. And I mean, even if you ain't got a plan, sometimes winging it is the plan. 100%. Just do it and see if it works and go from there. That's what these YouTube streams were. It was basically me winging it and giving it something a shot. Mm -hmm. And outside of that, you want to, and this is kind of contradictory, but maintaining, like, be open-minded, but also focused. Okay. Can you explain that for me? It's more of, in a sense, it kind of the same thing. Is like, you want to be able to try new things if you're open, if you're, you know, looking to try new things. Right. But also maintain a, that balance with focus as well, where if you know something is working, you know, don't just give that up to try something else completely new. So if you have something that's going well for you, and I understand people need to switch stuff up especially if you let's say if you're playing games you've been playing the same game for five six seven years like yeah at that point mm-hmm. you're up. but if something is working and it's just you know you feeling it in your in your bones and your creative spirit that you want to try something new just try to find the the pathway that works for you don't necessarily close it off because you you scared the numbers might not work i think what a lot of people end up being scared to do is because they have something that is working they're afraid to try new things because they know they won't see receive the numbers. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're not gonna receive the name, same numbers. But if it's something that you're, you know, if you openly go into that situation knowing that, then it becomes less of a surprise when it actually happens. Exactly. But then you feel happy because you tried what you wanted to do. So that's two of the main ones I would say that's that's been to, for me personally is helpful for me in my journey. I echo 100 the trying it, even if you don't have a plan those sometimes would be the best times where you stumble into something you're like oh i didn't even know this would work mm-hmm. because you don't have that fear behind you of what if i fail you're just like i just want to try it and see what happens because mm-hmm. you won't know what people are like until you until you do it exactly so uh, spoiler alert uh al was on uh the last person i talked to on the podcast was al mm-hmm. and i was talking to her about like lately i would say the last probably six to eight months mm-hmm. What I've been doing for content has kind of changed because I just do whatever either makes me happy or makes me laugh or it feels good to make. And I've just been throwing that up and it's been getting received well. Mm-hmm. Like, And it's all because I was like, you know what? I, I just want to make something that is fun and engaging. And if it doesn't hit, whatever, at least I made it. And just pushed with that mentality and you'd be surprised the shit that comes out of you. Listen, and not to like go off uh, the script a little bit with Al, like Mm -hmm. the content that she makes, first of all, I love everything that she puts out. Same. And second of all, like she is literally one of my inspirations when it comes to that 
you know, being open minded, but also focused because she, Mm -hmm. we both kind of have the same mentality when it comes to content. We're interested in so many different things and we can be productive in so many different lanes. It kind of becomes overwhelming when you try to do everything, but she's, she's done it and she does it at a frequency that is consistent and successful. And right. everything that she puts out is absolutely like a 10 out of 10. Bro, she told me she sneak peeked me something that she's putting together. I already know it's fire. I, I can't wait. Like, I'm, I'm it's science. She's going to do some science fiction type information teaching. Mm hmm. I seen I seen her. She put a little a little a little teaser of, of the idea on on Twitter. It was just a conversation topic. Oh, OK. So it's funny that you say that because I saw her recently start like a conversation about it on Twitter. That is awesome. But yeah, no, I already know it's going to be amazing. Like, she really don't miss. Um, In my eyes, she don't miss. And like, that's, and this is, again, this is why I love having this platform, because when you hear her talk, like, you hear some of uh, her struggles, and you're like, really? That's what you're worried about? Like, I see your mm-hmm. content. But again, we all have those, those little doubts, that self-talk that, like, makes us think twice about doing something. But <laughs> my goal with this podcast is to have everybody realize that hey we all do this shit and we all need to stop because that's the yep. one of the only things that's keeping us back <laughs> no that is a fact especially with like thinking we can't do stuff because i'll be honest when i started but when i started making content and people would be like oh my god you're funny like i enjoy talking to you yeah I'm like, why like <laughs> <laughs> like why the hell do you enjoy talking to me like i yeah it's like, I'm real. like I, I put it like this IRL is like i don't talk too too much yeah unless i'm like really comfortable with folks but like when i'm making content i really just try to like be in my own zone and like be more of my natural self in a certain mm-hmm. extent but that that'd be throwing me off because for the longest like i'm i'm really just for the most part a quiet dude so if i was like oh my god you're so funny and blah 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 i'm like stop lying to me I'm like yeah. all right man <laughs> <laughs> but, but now it, you've been doing this so long do you believe that shit now oh yeah i know i'm funny now all right I'm, cool, I'm, cool. I'm, let's keep it a buck i'm one of the funniest out Yes, oh. yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's just I just try to I just try to keep it to my personality and not try to overextend it. Yeah, exactly. Dope. Well, we have reached another pivotal section of the podcast where I think I know you're gonna drop some knowledge. Words of advice, either to a new streamer, a new content creator, or somebody that's been doing it for a little bit, or both, whatever you whoever you feel like talking to. What would you say to them? I would say, and this kind of applies to both. Okay. Echoes what I mentioned earlier. If you got something that you want to do, just try it. Like it, it doesn't hurt to try it. Nobody is saying that you have to fully commit to any idea or path that you want to go to. If you want to try a different form of content, if you want to move different in the content lanes, I'll say, give it a shot. Just don't be a weirdo. Um, <laughs> but yes. give, it a, <laughs> give, it a, give it a shot if it's something you want to do. Don't be scared to branch out and try different things. One of the main things that will help in that is get you a group of people that care about you as an individual mm-hmm. and your content second. Because a lot of folks be getting into these groups or these content creator groups where they really only care about your content. Right. And they'll put you down the wrong path or a path that you may not necessarily be comfortable with, but then don't care how it affects your mental health. Exactly. The biggest thing is you got to have people that care about both because that'll basically help you. And I mean, that's what you are to me. And that's what our group is to me is that right. y'all care about my mental health and my content. So when I ask questions, I'm getting, you know, a healthy response. Right. But I would say that would be the biggest thing is just don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to branch out. Find a good group of people that are back you up. And I mean, honestly, if y'all if y'all all make content, just reciprocate the energy around each other and it'll just work out. Yeah. But I would say that'd be the biggest thing. And take breaks. Like, damn. Um, yes, please. A lot of y'all content creators be doing 12, 14 hour streams, seven days a week. And y'all need to stop that shit. Keep it honest. <laughs> like, I understand if you're doing it full time and I understand you, you know, you got to do it, especially if you got to pay bills. Like, I get it. But take a fucking break. Like, build in the break at once a month at least. God damn. Not, man, I'm I'm a big proponent on breaks. As a, as a hard working individual and a, mm-hmm. and a workaholic, yep. I'm saying take a break every damn every week. Oh yeah, so, for sure. Like, like do something to make yourself happy. Do something so you can you can rejuvenate yourself. 
go outside, get a massage, eat some ice cream, something. Yeah. Like you don't don't be <laughs> pumping out content twenty four seven because you're gonna burn the fuck out and you might you might not bounce back from it. Exactly. You might be like, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to do this shit anymore. Literally, people be overworking themselves for content and they just don't make content no more. Exactly. So yeah, take a break. Please. It's it's wild how many people like we started with or who used to do it that are not mm-hmm. doing it anymore. Like mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, let me see what so and so's up to, and nothing since like a year or two ago. And I'm like, God damn. Listen, and I and me personally, I don't want to get to that point. So yeah, the frequency at which I put down content is lower, but I'm still doing it because when I first did it, I was doing, I was working my job, coming home at like nine, ten o'clock, doing four hour streams to like two or three o'clock in the morning. Now, do I still be up to two or three o'clock in the morning? Yes, but I'm not making content at two or three o'clock in the morning. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and then like doing this like five days, five, six days a week. And it's it works for a time, but yeah, you get burnt out and then you're not there for months. So yeah, try to balance that out. If you got to take an extended break, it's fine. Your people will be there when you come back. Yeah. Like that'd be the biggest thing a lot of people worry about too. Your people will be there when you come back, but take a damn break. Yeah. Like, go I- outside. Take a vacation. Y'all be pissing me off with that. <laughs> like watching people physically sleeping on stream and like no i gotta get through this next two hours i'm like no you don't bro i personally don't like that trend of sleeping on stream right of all i don't want nobody watching me while i'm sleeping nah that's that's weird that don't like like uh, y'all i mean i'm I'm not gonna lie y'all gotta pay y'all gotta give me some good amount of money for me to sleep on stream like i do it (laughs) yeah. <laughs> but it got it gotta be lucrative. Yeah. But I'm not finna just be I'm not finna be sleeping on stream, dog. Y'all y'all need to be mm. at first I thought it was a joke. I definitely thought it was a joke. And then I kept seeing like people we know like sleeping. I'm like, hold on. It used to be against TOS for Twitch, so people couldn't do it. Oh um, but now they have the channel or the category on there and folks really be doing that shit. That I'm just like, crazy. man, if you don't turn this shit off and go to sleep, like <laughs> The hell? My thing is, I don't want something to accidentally slip out or, or whatever yeah, while you yeah. while you sleeping. Right? I don't know what happens. Band. Right? And and now your channel banned. Like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I was sleep. No, I don't count. I don't know you were sleeping. Man. Your eyes was closed, but you was moving. You're right. <laughs> uh, yeah. That is dope. Before we jump out of the words of advice section, there's been something that I'll probably speak on it in like a TikTok or something. But mm-hmm. I think the one thing that everybody is talking around that Mm. stops us from doing dope shit it's fear like and you kind of spoke to it with saying if you have an idea to do something like don't be afraid to be spontaneous don't be afraid to like do something that might be outside of your norm Mm -hmm. but i think the thing that stops us ultimately is fear like whatever fear is associated with for me it's fear of failure for -hmm. some people it's fear of being judged for some people whatever it's all boils down to fear and like that shit stops i could think of like three distinct time points in my life that if i would have let that fear stop me i would not be sitting here today yeah and i'm the same way especially fear of failure like that's a big thing for me and i understand what people say they're scared to do certain things especially like i said if you got something that's been working like the last thing you want to do is you know fuck up the flow or fuck up the bag true but in that same instance like i don't I don't negate or invalidate anybody's fear because I like nine times out of 10 it's rooted in a, in a valid, you know, in a valid place. <laughs> you got to be comfortable with failure. Yeah. No, hundred percent. That's, and that's with being an entrepreneur and running your own, because that's what content creation is. You running your own business and being an entrepreneur yep. that comes with running your own business in general. You got to be comfortable with failure. You can't let failure stop your growth. Otherwise you'll just be stagnant and nobody wants to be stagnant. It's a consistent check but what about the better check exactly you're like you're gonna get to a point where you're like oh, i don't want to do it. i need to switch it up like just switch it up <laughs> exactly even like when you see like the top folks doing the same stuff for so long they switch it up every once in a while too because they get tired of playing certain games even me right now like i was playing apex for the longest like i was mm-hmm. playing and grinding apex i don't want to look at nothing apex related <laughs> i ain't watching no apex trailers i don't care about a loot box or death crate i don't care about no no hemlock no no i don't even know the guns anymore right, right? Now. no no 301 i don't want i don't care about none of that like i'm taking a break i'm good on it Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, no, fear is one of those things that you, like you said, you got to be comfortable with and just know on the other side of fear, 
it's two things either success or you're gonna learn a valuable lesson that you can apply to your next venture that's it yep and that's the thing the the latter is my biggest thing that i'll be honestly the most excited for the success is great and it validates you know your efforts that you put in but right. i'm always here to learn i'm always eager to learn a lesson and that's one thing i like from youtube and doing more stuff on youtube I'm a big, like, I'm good. I like numbers. So yeah. seeing analytics wise, how certain things can affect the success or I won't even say failure or less success uh, of a video or a post or a stream or whatever, like seeing those numbers roll in and just pinpointing how certain things work mm -hmm. or figuring how certain words work with titles and, and all that type of stuff. Like that really like feeds a certain part of my brain that enjoys it. Yeah. But the lessons, the thing, like with learning the lesson, the lessons will always be beneficial. Right. Unless, like I said, unless you're doing something weird that you're not <laughs> supposed to be doing, nine times out of ten, the lessons that you're learning are going to be beneficial and going to help you grow down the line. So don't be no weirdo, and you'll be fine. Yeah. I don't know if you got the uh, the theme of Jedi, he does not like weirdos. Like I don't actively calls them out thank thank you yes. jedi for that we appreciate it no problem it, it makes my day to find some weirdos so <laughs> like stop doing that do that somewhere else exactly or just stop especially stop if, doing that shit listen especially if you're a dude i'm on your ass expeditiously exactly um, i said it in my, my twitter bio and i say it again we protect women in general but especially black women over here so mm -hmm. man that is yeah i've seen you have to chase down some dudes that shit is a uh, legendary Listen, I already told people too. For anybody that's listen, I'm expending it out. For anybody that's going to DreamCon or any convention that I might be going to, if you need security, hit your boy up. I got you. Yeah, and Jenna's like six foot, seven foot nine. So allegedly, <laughs> I haven't met this dude in person yet, but allegedly he's tall as fuck. So yeah, man. So if y'all need security, just hit me up. I got you. All you gotta do is feed me, and I'm good. Hell yeah, that's funny. He ain't joking. That's not the first time I heard him say that either. So mm -hmm. it's true. Well, dope. Let's go ahead and jump into the last section of the podcast. Call to action. Jedi, what would you like the listeners of the podcast to do in regards to your content? Point them in whatever direction you want. Honestly, so like I said, my main focus right now is YouTube. So if y'all can check out my YouTube, I would appreciate it. It's Jedi I also on every single platform. Brand unification, baby, is what we strive for. Yeah. So YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, threads, everywhere. It's Jedi also. So... <laughs> Wherever you looking for me, you're going to find me with that name. Nice. But, uh, YouTube has been my main focus, so I'm going to get back to streaming on there, finishing the Final Fantasy 16. I'm ready for Spider-Man to come out. Like, me too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm ready for Spider-Man to come out. And I feel like it's another uh, story game that we had talked about that's coming out soon. Oh, Starfield. Yes. I'm ready for Starfield. Man, I'm, I'm going to watch you play that. It's going to be on Game Pass. Oh, never mind. I'm playing it. I forgot. I forgot about the past. Damn. That's the only reason I'm playing it. It's like, okay, y'all know I love space. Like, I'm a Star Wars nerd, but mm -hmm. it's, they said free on Game Pass. I'm in there day one if the game works. Yeah, if the game works. <laughs> All right. Well, let me go ahead and get my call to action now. If you know any other creators out there who could benefit from conversations like these and more, please share the podcast with them and let them know Uploaded and Unfiltered is on damn near every podcast engine out there that you can find so uh go subscribe leave me a comment a review let me know what you like what you don't like and maybe i'll fix it probably not because i don't like to take <laughs> criticism i was just playing i like criticism i like constructive feedback so shoot it at me on that note Whoa, one more oh yeah yeah go ahead or one more thing and you better not edit this out what is i want to tell you that i'm fucking proud of you for doing this and lining up so many dope ass people for this podcast yo you keep but keep doing this shit and keep doing what the hell you want to do like I'm, yeah. I'm super fucking proud of you because i know you took a big step and a big change to, to start doing this stuff and it's been working out for you so i'm happy for you and i'm proud that you are doing this man you, like you are a dope ass individual and i'm happy to call you my friend and i want to see you succeed god damn it yo jedi of course i'm keeping this in one two thank you for the kind words i appreciate it and again like i said at the beginning of the podcast you specifically have been one of those dudes in my corner that i've always if i had an issue i would come talk to you we just chop it up laugh away things talk about the problems and yes. stuff like that helps like immensely so if you don't have a circle of people that you can confide in find it please absolutely it'll get you through every tough time that you have with this yeah yeah because there's some shit that we've seen and yeah I, you know what? i'm done yeah. streaming i'm not making content anymore after this yeah it's, it'd be some wild stuff out here 
So just make sure you have a good a good uh, foundation of people at your back. Yeah, and it'll make it a lot easier. Well, again, Jedi, thank you for doing a podcast with me. I knew as soon as I have anything spin up, you're one of the homies that'll be like, yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. So I appreciate that. No problem, man. I'm glad I could be a part of this amazing podcast. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. With that, I'm going to bid you all adieu. I think that's the word that I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, that's the word. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. Thank you for listening. I hope y'all had as much fun as I did. Again, protect your mental, keep creating content, and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.